Oh sure my if it's gosh. nerves or if I accidentally drink some milk. I love the little pink. Something's making my stomach uh -oh. squirm. You look nice. Strange, but nice. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season one, episode 16 of The Owl House, Enchanting Grom Fright. Yes, this has been an episode everyone's been excited about. Uh, so much so we were informed that we need to dress up for the occasion. It's fancy. Gotta match the vibes. Yes, so it feels like it's a prom night. Uh, what are your thoughts before we jump into this episode? Yeah, I'm excited. I love prom. Just like school dances are such a fun thing and seeing what the rules are like like for a magic school dance that just I mean I love just like learning more lore about the world so very excited yeah and uh, I can't wait to see Amity and Luce potentially go together mm -hmm. uh, so I'm really excited to jump in this episode if you are please make sure to like comment and subscribe down below to keep up with our Owl House reaction series coming out every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you can't wait and want to see several episodes ahead these episodes are all posted to patreon and their extended uncut forms all right are we excited for episode 16 of the Owl House Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Listen up, Dunderheads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. If something is good and people are like, okay, but just wait because this oh, is terrible. This New flower rune. Mm -hmm. So she's learning to look into nature. That's amazing. My glyph skills are blossoming. <laughs> Check this out. Two warriors battling to the death. Very cute. We're getting enough Wi-Fi through the portal for cat videos. Senseless violence. Yes. Ooh, leaving the portal open to the human world. It's interesting. Oh, did you know the earth is actually flat? Yep, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. The boy. first message. Good enough. Uh, Emojis are yeah. actually Loki a good response. move. <laughs> For real? Um, you text your parents emojis? I would text my parents words with emojis. I'm kind of giving if mom, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Um, when you put an emoji with a word, it makes them feel clued in to some secret language and uh, they feel like you're making that smile. So I feel like emojis are always the way to soften any news you give. That's so interesting. Not the same in your case? No, no, it's just not respectful. Oh, it's not respectful to use yeah, emojis. Yeah, because because you should just use words and not send like acknowledge the message. Oh my god. Because like if my dad asked me uh, how I was camp had. and I sent him a response. thumbs up emoji. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Hey mom, not at camp actually. I'm in the demon realm learning to be a witch. She will end me. Nah, she'd be freaked out by. Yeah, what's gonna anyway. happen? So mm -hmm. actually, by keeping the truth from her, you're doing her a favor. Hmm. The demon at my shoulder makes a good point. Always trust a shoulder demon. Light vibes. Fill up that hmm. darling little head of yours with <laughs> delicious knowledge. Oh. Please hurry. The more I look at him, the more uncomfortable I get. <laughs> <laughs> that was a strange hoot hoot. All right, off to a good start. All right. A little reality check. Whoa. This is the same intro. Okay, I thought it changed a little. I wonder if the intro will ever change. Probably season two, I bet it does. Also, we are in the last four episodes of the season. Are you serious? Five. Yeah, wow. last five episodes of the season. That went fast. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Watch your heads. Enchanting Grom Fright. Something's different today. Did everyone get a haircut? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you've never been here for the social event of the season. Come with us immediately. Your disease is advancing. Is there oh, I know this voice actor. Only one. Finding the perfect date to Grom. <laughs> if that's the cure, Scara, will you go to Grom oh, with me? Oh, God. Oh, wow. Will, or whatever. Yeah. Well thought out. That was great. <laughs> Enchanting. Nice have a weird version of Frightening. Grom in the Boiling Isles. I was kicked out of my last school dance for dressing like an otter, but maybe here I could be your Grom queen. <laughs> That's, uh, not something people usually sign up for. <gasps> Watch it, nitwit. Ooh. Being oh, huh, Grom so queen is a bad know. thing. Sorry oh. No problem. Let me Did you see that? Here, what? The response know. to when she got hit, though? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bad thing to be a prom queen, you're right. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, 
Hi, Luce and Co. Sorry about that. No problem. See, she's just I'm like not. getting mm -hmm. over some responses. Here, here you got some quick grabbers. It's just, it's private. <laughs> what could that be? He's announcing who will be this year's Grom royalty. I have the privilege to bestow our highest Grom honor to Amity Blight. Oh, our shit. Grom Queen. What does that mean? Get it, queen. Why are they embarrassed? Oh no. Is it like a everyone votes on someone they hate? Being Grom Queen is a tough job, even for Amity. Oh, maybe there's a series of tests you have to pass or something. Or maybe you're responsible for a bunch of shit. Mm. I feel like you should have to volunteer for that. Just keep it up for me. I can't wait to get overdressed, take awkward photos, push all the buttons. Wait, what? Don't mind if I do. Oh, okay. Maybe. Oh, yep. Got to be a series of trials, because they probably choose the strongest magic person. Medieval torture seems like a strange theme for Grom, but hey, they're not for decoration. But it's only one, so how could it be a trial? I think that the best student gets to show off their magic skills by overcoming a series of tests, almost like the Goblet of Fire, but only for one student to okay. prove that they're the best. That's the vibes I'm getting. <gasps> Medieval torture seems like a strange theme for Grom, but <laughs> hey, they're not for decoration. This isn't just some dance party. That's Grom, short for Grometheus the Fear, uh, the monster that lives under the school. Every that was year, cool transition. Cool. A student has to defeat it before oh. it invades the town. Ah. The worst thing is that Grom can read minds and shapeshift into your worst fear. Oh. And mine is very embarrassing. Oh, yikes. Why don't you tell Principal Bump you want out of this deathmatch biz? That's a good idea. Thanks, Luce. Hmm. We're done a tarp, I'm gonna pee up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm home! Okay, so what are our thoughts on the way that transpired? I think it's really interesting that if Grom is so dangerous, they're choosing to send students after it repeatedly. Yeah. Not quite getting that, but... I guess it's just a tradition thing, because they've done it every year. Yeah. Yeah, and it shape shifts into your worst fear, kind of like... And that's like such a fucked thing to make people do in front of their peers, or just in front of anyone in general, but especially kids in school. That's yeah. brutal. And what's the, uh, isn't there a Harry Potter? A bogart. It's like a demon monster thing that lives in closets sometimes, or that's, it's like small spaces, but we find the first one in a closet, and basically they just take the shape of the thing that is like your biggest fear really? and the only way to get rid of it is by making it funny so if you're afraid of spiders you like make them dance or take their legs off or something so maybe that could happen here maybe wonder what her worst that's, fear is that's a good idea thanks Luce. we're done a tarp i'm gonna pee up <laughs> i'm home that's a guy who got swallowed Ow! by uh Ida a while ago nice. in her beast form oh uh, gotcha things. why am i doing this i don't even wear clothes we're getting wow. dressed up what's the house I'm chaperoning Grom tonight, so I have to look. Of sharp. course. And Gus asked me to go MC the fight. We're gonna turn this bloodbath into a fun bath. Ooh, have they <laughs> announced the victim yet? Yeah, it's Amity. The victim? The queen is the victim. <laughs> hey, what? Why is Grom Ooh, so scary? The What's? Victim yet? Yeah, it's Amity. I wish I could like take her place or something. <laughs> I mean, that's really nice of her. Yeah. Close. Grom is a little above your pay grade. You're a human. Oh, You're blushing. Fragile. Hey. There's a horrifying spider in your hair. Nope. I'm not as fragile as you think. Either. There's gotta be. I can't be so easily fooled either. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh. Oh, I hated you that. Hard on her. Do you think I could pull off red eyeshadow? Girl, you can pull off anything. Up top. We're kind of factual. Of that. Fragile. It's so weird to think about the personification of your biggest fear because so many people's fears aren't things like concrete, like a clown. You yeah. Know? Oh. oh, okay. Oh my gosh, Amity, I'm so sorry. I'm that was a really quick day. spell. Yeah. Oh. Did you talk to Bump? Oh, and she got in it with her to make her feel better. <laughs> I'm Grom Queen. Unless I can find a replacement, who'd want to switch with me? Loose. I would. What? I'll be your fearless champion! Ah! Oh my god. Fearless champion? 
That was horrifying. I hate that spider, but oh my god, lose. Hmm. That's a cool oh, outfit. That's really sweet, but also really scary. Yeah, maybe not the best idea. Again. Bird I'm tube. Going to it. <laughs> Which should I wear to Grom? This one says, I'm an otter. With a dark side. With her little limbs? <laughs> yeah. You need to Look, she's all at it. If you can't defeat Grom, everyone on the island will have to live out their worst nightmare. What? My worst nightmare? This is the first time in my life that I've been provoked to hit a owl. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you your worst nightmare. <laughs> Look at Hootie. Oh no. Wanna say our greatest fears? On three. One, two, being alone forever. I'm stuck with you forever. Wow. In preparation, I've made a list. <laughs> Grabbing notes. <laughs> Zeus, help me help. Human souls trapped no, in cat bodies! I don't want to be this. <laughs> Human souls trapped in cat bodies? I don't want to be this. <laughs> That was really funny. What's your real fear, Luce? My real fear Going is home? that Ida thinks I'm too fragile to do this. You're inadequate. <laughs> <laughs> You're inadequate. Weak baby. I get it. Ditch the yellow. <gasps> is that supposed to be me? Dang, I look great. <laughs> Wait a sec. You're training to be Grom Queen. You always go overboard and I end up bailing you out. Now, what's the fun in watching a kid get eaten by a monster if it's my kid? They get eaten? <laughs> oh my cat. God. So All right. What is she going to do to defeat this creature? Maybe just not be embarrassed of anything. Yeah, all the blushing. The blush counter is gonna go crazy this episode. Oh my gosh, Willow Thank looks you. so great. Oh, she's making corsages. But also her little plant That's dress. Pretty, yeah. Why isn't King dressed up? Oh, does he have a bow tie? A yeah. Yes. But he's, he doesn't even wear clothes, is what he said earlier when he was dressing Ida. Mm. <laughs> wow, Gus is really good at this. They're hanging on his every word. <laughs> I, see we've got I love Gus. He's so Master, funny. I hope you won't throw us in detention because uh, we're gonna raise the roof. I also love Bump. I love everybody in this show thus far. Mm hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think will go better with the youths? Close up magic or impressions? Okay. Maybe not calling them the youths. The youths. <gasps> oh, she oh. looks so. Oh sure my gosh. Or if I, accidentally drink some milk. I love the little pink. Something's making my stomach uh -oh. uh, You look. Nice. Strange, but nice. And thank you, Luce. Honestly, They're so cute. I'm amazed with how fearless you are. You going soft on me, Blight? <laughs> In your dreams. Now introducing uh, our Grom uh, Queen. You know her. You love her. You I cannot handle that. Her. Luce, the <laughs> You've at least heard of her. <laughs> Wish me luck. All right. Before we get started, any final thoughts before she faces this creature? I mean, that was the cutest thing ever. That's not really related to her facing the creature, but like, oh my god, that was really cute. Yeah. Um, they have banter now. Yeah. I mean, they've had banter, but Calling this her is blight? like extra banter. Yeah. Wow. Love that. It's very cute. It is. In terms of how this fight is going to go, I'm not certain. I could potentially see something along the lines of... Luce's biggest fear is being perceived as weak yeah. by Ida. It doesn't seem like Grom is as much of like a physical fear as like an emotional fear. She decides that she's not embarrassed about that. I don't know how you would decide that it's not scary. I don't know. I'm. This isn't super making sense, but just some like run around for the idea that like it's not scary unless you let it be scary. Yeah, I see a little bit of a rug pull happening. I think it's gonna be her mom. I think it's gonna be her going back to the human world and everybody's just gonna be like, like I think it's gonna be one of these shocking, this is not oh, a kid's show anymore shit. moments. I don't know, just cause maybe she like, oh my biggest fear is her being Whoa. thinking I can't do this. No, 
it's going to be your biggest fear, which you don't come up with in front of people, Holy which is why this is so shit. terrible. I don't know. That's it. That's my inclination. Wow. You know what I mean? What do you think? That, I mean, that would be incredible. They've been having her text her several times this episode. Yeah. Like, they, they made a point to kind of bring it up for the first time. And did you see the way she reacted with King? Like, she's not even addressing it. She, you're like, don't you need to reply sometimes? She's like, nope, I'm not going to deal with it. Mm -hmm. That's something you say about your biggest fear. Anyway. Wow. Yeah, let's see how this unfolds. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nice. That's your weapon of choice. Whoa. Okay. Is that with the ice spell? To make it an ice mace. Oh, it can become several levels. Okay. And there she goes, folks. And now to hand things over to my co MC, King. Hello, Hexide. They're going to go dead silent. Um. <laughs> Are warm. Uh, oh Luther. no. Luce is um she she's down there all right and uh yeah yes she is. Folks, she's um she's oh, no. the thing and uh Oh no you will clap for me please oh no please clap <laughs> oh no that's so You're terrible a place of intellectual honesty so debating <laughs> you would be pointless that's you know what that is a good way to solve that Luce has lasted surprisingly long but what form will Grom take next? Oh, now it's Ida. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Oh, it just... Going back home, that's what it is. Neha? Mom, what are you doing here? Luz? This is that's not camp. real. Have is it... Been here all these weeks? It's not real. And is that a weapon? It's like being caught. Have you been lying to me? No, it, it's not real. Oh no. Leave me be. Thing is, you're sitting in my personal chit chat zone, which means we gotta talk. Well, if that's oh. the rule. Oh, how can this be? I get stage fright. Sometimes you just have to. I know, I know. Imagine everyone in their underwear. Gross. Why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. I always do that. <laughs> I am a little weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I am a little weirdo. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't face my fear. Why are you running loose? Grum has escaped. Oh no. Oh god. Now's your chance. Loose. Gimme. Oh. I feel like it would be less scary now that it's not actually her mom, you know? Yeah, but it's like so triggering that you can't even realize it in that moment. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, took off just like your local sports team would take off when they're about to make a goal. Woo! Sports team! Oh, yeah. Love our team! Yeah. That's right! <laughs> so, uh, so let's follow them and see what happens next! <laughs> nice. Oh no. Why can't you face me, Luce? Spicy toss! Spicy toss. Jesus Christ. The spicy toss is elite. Mm -hmm. excuse for a monster. Wonder if this could be foreshadowing in some way. Yeah. Mm. I got this one. Yeah, Ida defending Luce against her mom. Amity. But maybe Amity's gonna step in. Oh. It's gonna become her fear. Is it gonna be like Luce or something? <gasps> what? It's gotta be Luce rejecting her. It's okay. What if I went to Grom with you instead? Oh. Really? Instead. And she doesn't know. Do? Oh, no. <laughs> friends do. No. But yes, but no. <sighs> oh, my God. That was really May cute. Oh. Ooh. Stop it. The animation. This is really cool. Oh, cute. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. This is so amazing. They're going to defeat Grom with the power of dance and Yes, friendship. oh my gosh. Hey, the smooth that moves? That was really smooth. Working together? Yeah. Wow. Oh! 
Oh my god. So, prom queens! Oh, prom queens! Oh, it's it's not important. Oh come on. <gasps> Let's give a big hand to our Grom Queens. Oh the blushing! <laughs> Yay! Oh my god, cute. Wow. You did it, buddy. Of course I did it. I wonder if she ever sees the note somehow. <laughs> huh? Oh, Human. Oh, you did good, kid. Thanks, but I'm gonna go to bed. She still gotta be thinking about that fear. Well, and if you don't even realize that it's your fear. Yeah. Maybe I am fragile. Hmm. Face your fear. Oh. Today was kind of hard, but when things got tough, my friends helped me out. Monday, I'll tell you all about this. Oh, wait. Aww, oh, that's a cute way of saying text. <laughs> letters? What? Who's been sending letters? Whoa. Will you rewind for 10 seconds? What the fuck was that? Somebody's been sending letters as Luz. Today, I can't wait to get home and see you. Let's do mother-daughter activities forever and ever. L misspelling Luz? Very weird. Do we think that Ida is sending these messages? Oh. Like covering for her or something? I hadn't even thought of that. I That's was thinking that maybe there's like a parallel life going on where like she didn't oh. actually leave camp and go somewhere else, but she like is at camp in the human realm. Whoa. And she's in just like a different, but then I don't know why she would misspell her own name unless part yeah. of that is like you lose part. Mm. You lose? You lose. <laughs> It's so robotic. Yeah. Like, I feel like it feels fake. Anyway. Grom memories. Classic. I wonder who went with who. Oh! Cute. Adorable. Wow. What a night. Now, can someone let me down? <laughs> All right, that was episode uh, 16 of the Owl House. With a little team spirit and a training montage, we can win. Me? On a team with you? <laughs> Running around in cute uniforms? <laughs> Sweating? <laughs> I gotta go! Huh. So what are your first thoughts? I mean, I always love learning about people's parents because it just explains so much. But especially combined with the context of like the greatest fear yeah. thing, that was amazing. I feel like I know so much more about Luz and like just something that's obviously like impacting every part of every decision she's making now. I agree. I also loved getting, and I can't wait to talk about that more. I also loved getting to see more of Amity and Luz. Sort oh my of God, yeah. Interacting, getting closer, and some of that dance they Cute. were. And she was going to ask her, and uh, her fear was getting rejected by her. That was her greatest fear, so that's something that's to log away. Deal. I think she has this fear that Luce isn't going to be into her. Um, but we're going to find out, uh, hopefully we find out in future episodes whether anything happens between them. But for now, uh, that's where we're left. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you enjoyed that episode and are excited for episode 17 coming next Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see several episodes ahead, check out the Patreon link in the description below where these episodes are all posted in their extended uncut forms. We have a lot to discuss before we do that. Where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. Uh, for now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. But if you want to ask us questions after every episode we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Maybe we just get into all these. Let's just go. Let's lightning round. Lightning this round. Shit. We're all lightning right. rounding it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What would your Grom appear to you as? My dad. Oh boy. <laughs> Mine would probably be a cliff. I'm very afraid of heights, so it probably would just make the ground seem like I was way too high up, and then I'd cry. Ferris wheel. A Ferris, Ferris wheel. wheel. Um, a Ferris wheel with my dad. Okay, that's 
hellish. Ferris wheel with my dad. My dad's <laughs> afraid of heights as well, so we'd both just be crying. Perfect. Yeah. Question two. JHTR asks, very important question. Which show had the gayer prom episode? The Owl House or She Run the Princess of Power? And fun fact, one of the writers for this episode, Molly Osterag, is married to Andy Stevenson, who made she so who made the gayer prom? That's so cute. I know who I would give it to. I'm having a really hard time deciding. What What do you think? I think it's She-Ra due to volume. There was a lot more gay moments happening. In the prom, within the prom episode? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, no, okay, I totally agree with that. I guess like I was, was thinking Adora... more in terms of the context of like the two main characters. Okay, in the context of the two main characters, that is another aspect. But I think um, in terms of the prom. The it's prom itself, the she prom. had a lot more she representation. And there was way more crazy outfits. Like, there's just more going on. But in terms of the character themselves, that's a good question. So I'm going to say she for that. W which would you say for the general prom? she for she sure. And then as for just Ka Katra and Adora versus Lumity. Katra and Adora had a lot more previous stuff going on. So even though the prom episode was fantastic... It was not as much of a surprise, at least to me, as some of the reveals and moments in this episode were. Yeah. So I'm going to give it to Owl House. I feel like in you're right that in She-Ra, there was a lot of moments that happened that kind of hinted at future stuff, whereas this was a lot of groundbreaking information we didn't have before. Yeah. So I'll give it to Owl House on the individual level. Mm -hmm. Wow. But uh, let's go to our third question. All right. Question three. Jenny J. Javison asks, what do you think about the school's principal recruiting children to fight monsters that threaten the entire island? That's super super fucked up. I don't know why they haven't found a more permanent solution for this. It's not even like a volunteer situation. It's just, you have to go do it. it Terrible. It kind of- Absolute nightmare. It kind of seems a little like they're getting to the core of what Dumbledore did with all, without all <laughs> the meandering and wise words. Like, no, he kind of got a little kid to fight Voldemort. That's like, so true. And without all the buildup, it just is like, it's just, wow, that that's, you can't do that. But that's literally, yeah, no. Did, at least Bump was up front about it. Like Dumbledore just kind of like was like, hey, maybe you should take this class and maybe yeah. you should go down that hallway. Like, yeah. you know, like God, and wouldn't even tell him why. At least they knew why here. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah. uh, let's go to another question. That was that was pretty not not the greatest bump moment. He's had great moments. That wasn't one of them. Question four. Tammy asks, what do you think of the fact that Ida, despite being right the whole time, still doesn't rub it in, lose his face or say, I told you so, but instead reacts very understandingly and is immediately ready to save loose, even if a certain someone stepped in first. Amity jumped over to save mm -hmm. her, but... I mean, I think that's just fantastic. I, I really... There aren't other words for that. I just... That makes me so happy. It really shows that she, how much she cares about Luce. 100%. Well, and it, it makes it... I don't know. I feel like warning someone of something can be looked at one of two ways depending on the way you act mm -hmm. in the outcome. Because if you are, like, warning someone of something... But then afterwards, it's all about how right you were. The reason you were warning them was... To be right. You were, exactly. And so it's kind of like the intention behind it is so important. So knowing that like that was never something that was motivating her, I think that's really cool. I also feel like it's a little bit, not necessarily like off brand, but kind of different from the Ida we saw at the very beginning. Like yeah, she's, she's gradually say, she's becoming... Grown. Like a mother she's figure. just more selfless. Mm. And she was very like singularly self-focused person, which like is totally understandable. As she's gone on, she started to care more and more about Luce and less about herself, yeah, which I, is really interesting. I agree. Like, it's less about her and she's more caring about Luce. And I think at the beginning, she wasn't doing that almost intentionally because she knew how much she'd get attached in a way. Interesting. And I'm sensing a bit of attachment um, in a good way and maybe in a bad way. Um, which, well, especially once her mom showed up. Yeah. That. And yeah, here's the thing. I have another question about that later, but not about that, but about something I think is related to that. But before we do that, we have to answer this quick question. Question five. Uh, Jenny D asks, which ship had the best dance scene? Katang, Catradora, or Lumity? Gotta have to say Catradora. I just really love Catra a whole lot. I'm gonna have to say Katang. All right. Because it was at the last season of the show. It mm -hmm. had been like 50 episodes and they've yeah. been, will they, won't they? Mm -hmm. I see you as a little brother type thing. That was thing. Really cute. And then they- They were all and, amazing. And, like and, it's hard and to got choose. got to show off that he can dance. Yeah. Like I was li living for that mm -hmm. um but the other two were also amazing in a different way because yeah. 
Katang was also a, a straight couple, and I feel like it's pretty groundbreaking that they got these scenes. 100%. So, in terms of which one I think I got more like butterflies for, it was definitely Katang, because I mean, that was also my childhood, but I loved all the scenes. They're all amazing. Um, who doesn't love a good dance scene? So true. Yeah. All right, let's go to another question. Question six, Chloe Taylor asks, what are your thoughts on the fact that Amity's biggest fear was being rejected by Luz? Do you think it's possible that you'll ever overcome this fear in the future? I think that's very telling. It's initially, I mean, it is very sweet, but it does tell us that Amity's biggest thing is just rejection in general. So if she does end up in a position where Luz did go to Grom with her or they're going out or whatever, that fear of rejection and that concern isn't necessarily going to dissipate immediately. I mean, that's like not how it works in the real world. Maybe, maybe it does here. I'm hoping that she does get over it for everyone's sake, but at the same time, fear of rejection just kind of bounces around. Like if you don't deal with the root cause of it, if you get to a place where you're confident enough that you're not going to reject, get rejected in one vein, it's going to pop. It's like whack-a-mole kind of. Yeah. I think it's uh, it, it's a continuation of what we've been seeing from Amity, where it's just fear of rejection from her parents, fear of rejection from Luz, fear, she's, fear of rejection from Willow even, like, mm -hmm. apologizing. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's, like, her main thing. Mm -hmm. So I think she'll overcome it in the future, though. I think that this episode showed that they have a lot of chemistry and that... Luz has a little bit of game, like <laughs> unintentionally, because she's, comp she's somehow smooth. completely unaware of this. Like this is what friends do. Like who who is on the who are you gonna ask, Luz? Like, come on. Yeah, it would be crazy for someone to think that. Both of us, honestly. <laughs> honestly all right let's go to our final question final question this is a follow-up on what i think is the uh Ida question because this is the number one culprit for me well i guess i already answered it before asking but anyway alina cressman asks do you have any theories about the letters i'll go ahead and finish my thought i thought that it was Ida because she really enjoys having loose there but the issue is sending letters implies that she's still a part of the camp and i feel like if Ida was trying to you know i'm talking myself about it i feel like if Ida was trying to do it she'd be like i drove off a cliff and died don't call me back like this feels sinister well and i feel like she has more attention to detail than to misspell her name you know, like she's not the most oh, yeah, you're detailed right. person, but that's not something you fuck up. Like that's such an obvious tell, which that is super interesting regardless of who sent it because it wasn't loose. And that's the only time where that would make sense. It's yeah. like, oh, I like my hand slipped or something. So I exited out and wrote my actual name. But we know that it's for sure not her. And if someone were trying to fake being her and sending a letter, misspelling your own name is like the biggest tell fucking ever. Yeah. So that has to be strategic, but I don't know how that would be. Kind of a random theory, and I don't know how any of this would work into anything, but like instead of her not going to camp and going into this magical realm, that she kind of ha like left like a shell or like a husk of herself in the human world. Almost like her soul went to the Owl House exactly. dimension and her body went on the bus. Exactly. And so she's like going through the motions of like listening to the counselors and like sit they say like time to write a letter and she's just like very like robotic which a lot of the stuff that she wrote sounded very like i don't know an ai like reads like a reset, right. exactly like we should do mother daughter activities like that doesn't sound like something that any like person who is fully trying to sound like lose would yeah. say yeah and then okay here's my final final guess which is the emperor because somehow the Emperor needed a human to make his master or their master plan happen. Interesting. And therefore, they're covering for Luce so that they can keep them in their dimension somehow. All right. Anyway, uh, on that bleak note, that is where we are going to end Enchanting Grom Fright. Uh, that was a fantastic episode, and thank you for watching. All right, are we excited for episode 17 of The Owl House? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go.